you know, to say that I am not in the least bit scared or worried about my future in this very moment in time would be an oversimplification about the complexity of the challenges we are currently facing. For the first time ever in my lifetime, we are confronting a global pandemic, which, according to the CDC, is a global outbreak of a disease that happens when a new virus emerges to infect people and can spread between people sustainably. That pandemic, of course, being the COVID-19 virus. However, this isn't really anything new. In fact, we have had quite large disease outbreaks fairly often. The swine flu in 2009, Ebola in 2014, the Zika virus in 2015 and into 16, and even a measles outbreak in 2019. So what makes this virus so much more different from the others? Well, for starters, a lot of this has to do with how rapidly the virus is spreading. According to WHO, WHO? Who said that? Yeah. Yeah, what? I said who said that. Yes, they did. Yes, what, dude? I'm asking who said that? Yes, who said it last week? Between January 20th, 2020 and March 20th, 2020, the number of confirmed cases had jumped from 282 to 234,073. Now, that's quite a leap. But probably the biggest factor as to why there is so much panic surrounding COVID-19 would have to be the news media. We live in a day and age where news media has lost almost all credibility. There's now a culture of, we have to report it first, even if we're wrong. And that mentality is very damaging, not only to their brand, but to the people who rely on the news as a place to gather information and make judgment calls not only for themselves, but also for their families. Now, if COVID-19 has taught us one thing, it would be that the general population is very fucking stupid. No. Now, I know like not even 15 seconds ago, I blamed the news media for a lot of the mass hysteria around COVID-19, but we all need to use some common sense. And notice how I group myself in there by saying we. Look, I work the customer service desk at a grocery store and if you thought that I had to deal with idiots before, you should see how many I deal with now. It's not something I usually like to complain about, but it's starting to get a little ridiculous. This is ridiculous. The other day, my 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. shift turned into a 1 p.m. to 2 a.m. shift. Okay, I just had to stop it here for a minute just to say, I understand that medical professionals and a lot of other people work longer shifts and they do a lot harder work um so i just wanted to put that out there before somebody complains okay back to the previously recorded message because of how many people were in the store and i have to say for us being in a pandemic in which both the state and federal government have told us that we need to practice social distancing i don't think that being in a grocery store surrounded by 500 or more rowdy customers is the safest place for me to be and here's the difference. You all have a choice on whether or not you wish to be in that grocery store, whereas I do not. It's gotten so bad that almost every single shelf in the store is empty and we are not receiving shipments to replenish stock and yet you are all still coming in to shop. I honestly don't understand. The other day we received a grocery delivery, which happens to be the kind of delivery in which toilet paper comes on. Hey, let's see here. Toilet paper? Toilet paper? Toilet paper. Toilet paper? Toilet paper? So what are you kids up to tonight? I was just gonna- Prepare for the coronavirus. Whenever we do receive a delivery, the truck driver usually calls the service desk in which I answer the phone and I make a page over the PA system to a manager to go to the back of the store and unlock the gate for the driver. This is always how it's been done. However, when I did this, me and my coworkers were later brought into the office and told that we can no longer do this because when I made that announcement, we had 15 or so people storm to the back of the store hoping to battle for some toilet paper. This needs to stop. It hasn't gotten that bad in my store, mostly because we haven't had toilet paper in over a week, but I've seen tons of videos of other stores around the world that look like Walmart in the middle of Black Friday.
We are currently in a state of growing concern and we do not need to be. Everyone just needs to keep up to date on the precautions to take and they need to do their own research. Don't rely on others to do it for you. The CDC and World Health Organization are putting out updates as soon as new information is coming out. We can now only trust the people we have elected into positions of power to guide us to a state not of panic, but to one of calmness. Look, I don't care what your political opinions are. Ever since 2016, the political atmosphere and disconnect between everyone in the United States has been disgusting. You don't have to like everyone, and you certainly do not have to like the current president, but condemning the actions of President Trump on the sole basis of orange man bad and I don't like him is unproductive and childish. This is the reason nothing gets done. If you can't have an open dialogue and you never heed the words of the opposition, nothing of meaning will ever come to light. I'm kind of proud of that one. So don't panic and just do what you can do. Wash your hands, eat properly, get enough sleep, whatever you can to keep your immune system in top condition and just go about your day. You don't need to wear a face mask and gloves everywhere you go. You don't need to doomsday prep by buying an entire grocery store. Just act as you normally would and keep in mind what is happening around the world. And most importantly, show some compassion to those around you. Perhaps, if we did all these things to begin with, we would have never fell to this point of trepidation.